you know, if the human supposedly evolving instead of devolving, why is everybody devolving? If if the human is evolving, why is why are they? Ever, look around you. All you do is go walk out your front door, look to your left, look to your right, your neighbors. Look at the uh, when you do your customer service job, whatever it is, and every almost every job is customer service, no matter what it is. Look at how the people are acting. Everybody's devolving instead of evolving. What's that about? The economy is devolving. The systems are devolving. The man-made systems are devolving. They're not evolving. They're devolving. Everything in the system, which is man-made, system is systemic. Everything in the system is systemically devolving. Let me say it again a little bit slower. I know it's hard because people are not evolving. They can't hear what I'm saying. They're devolving. Every Eve, every thing, Eve, re, thing, Eve, the mother of all living, everything, every thing in the system, 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 is systemically devolving. Devolve is devolver. Volver means to turn. It's, it's going down, devolving. Volver means to turn. It's downward spiral. Everything in the system is systematically devolving in a spiral downward. If mankind is evolving, why is everything going down? Do you really think the A by I is evolving? No. The younger generation don't know how to change a tire. They don't know how to change a light bulb. They don't know how to do anything. They just sit behind a computer all day. They want to make all their money. Instead of taking a job where they're working by the sweat of their brow, they want to take a job where they're just dancing on TikTok. The whole system is systemically devolving. D is down, Volve is turn, spiraling downward. So what would what what's in a system that is devolving? How can you rise up? How can you rise up in a system that is going down? Mankind, look at all the look at all the economic systems in place. The economy is going down. The devil's lies. He's a he's a liar. He's trying to destroy the earth, but he's trying to make it look like. He's a master deceiver. You're looking at everything devolving, but the devil's telling you that it's evolving. The new age people, the witches, the warlocks, the the cults and the ism, everything's evolving. Man is evolving. We're going to go to the tribulation period and we're all going to be one and we're all going to evolve. We're all going to go to the stars. We're going to go to the... We're going to... We're going to be like Star Trek. We're going to go all the planets. No, you're not. You're lying to yourself and you're lying to everybody else. World without end. The Bible tells you the earth's going to be renovated. Why would you want to leave earth? There's water everywhere. You breathe water. You can take a dehumidifier and create your own water in your house because you're breathing water. Mankind is devolving. And he thinks he's evolving because he believed the lies of the devil. And the word devil is D-E-V-I-L. The devil is ill. And when Eve ate the apple, that's why it's called Eve ill. Eve was ill because she followed the devil. She ate of the fruit to think she could be her own goddess. And you see everybody's doing that. Name it, claim it. Manifestation. They think they're doing it. It's God's dirt. Oh, so let's say a par let's say, okay. So, so a farmer is one of the best manifestors in the whole world, right? Because the farmer knows how to plant a seed. He plants a watermelon seed. He gets a watermelon. But what happens when he plants? He does all the everything right. He even every every so many years he changes his his product his produce and he and he makes sure the land is fertile and all that and then he plants the seed one year and he has a terrible harvest 
God can stop your manifestation at any moment. It's only God who blesses. You can do all the right things and God can bless you, but you can also do all the right things and God will curse it. He has to teach you a lesson that you're not God. Yeah, you might learn how to manifest uh, watermelons or oranges or tomatoes, but there's going to be a time when he can stop that anytime he wants to show you that it's not you, it's him. He can break it down. You, can, you might have the wisdom of Solomon, but he can shut you down at any moment just to remind you that he's in control. It's his earth. It's his dirt. It's his hologram. It's his flat earth, round earth, hollow earth, whatever you want to call it, pear earth. It's his reality. Simulation, computer game. It's his simulation. It's not yours. And if your heart right, if your heart ain't right, you might manifest something that you don't want. Because you reap what you sow, right? So if your heart ain't right, you're going to reap what you sow, which is going to be a bad thing. God has to correct you. If you're reaping, if you're His, He scourges every son He receives. So if you if your heart's not right, you reap what you sow. You're going to start reaping some negative, and that fe that feedback that He's trying to give you is to to get your heart right so that you do line up with him. He says, if any two or three ask anything, it'll be done. You want to, all these people say, I want to learn how to manifest. Get your heart right. Get saved. Get get a brother, sister uh, to agree with you in prayer. If any two agree on one thing, it'll be done. But make sure your heart's right. Make sure it lines up with his will. Make sure it's in his will. You don't even have to worry about it some kind of formula to manifest it's already in front of you you if a man don't work you don't eat plain and simple and you know the devil's a big fat liar so he's going to feed us sugar and he's going to tell you this is real food when it's fake food we know that so now that you've woken up to that you know this the devil everything the the medical system the educational system everything the devil has set up that is systematic is all upside down so you already know that. So you can evolve instead of devolving by seeing through the matrix, the matrix. The devil was a created being just like the humans, just like the earth, just like the animals. Anything that's created doesn't have the spiritual wisdom unless God gives it to him. So when the when God gave the devil some knowledge and he decided to try to be God, God dropped him down. And he still has some of that knowledge and he's using it against God and he's using it against the humans to destroy the earth. The Bible says Jesus comes back to destroy those that would destroy the earth. And so everything the devil is doing is upside down. He's tried to destroy marriage. He's tried to destroy... Uh, reproduction he's tried to destroy everything that God has every verse in the Bible he's tried to corrupt every verse every verse every truth in the Bible he's tried to corrupt he's had all these years all these eons of time to try to corrupt everything and the only way you're gonna break through it and not devolve and rise up in the system is run to Jesus get saved read your Bible rightly divide it Pray about it. Ask God to show you, and the Holy Spirit will pull you up instead of let you devolve into the system. The system is devolving. Look around you. Look at Hollywood. Look at the politics. I mean, there was a time where politics was like halfway normal, you know? Now it's like a cartoon land. Politics has turned into cartoon land. Look, Hollywood has gone to politics. Now Hollywood's a joke. Politics is a joke. Disney World's a joke. Disneyland, I already, I knew it was a joke a long time ago. I tried to tell my wife, I said, why am I going to go support Disneyland? It's upside down. Well, I just want to go to Disneyland. I ain't going to support that place. It's fake reality. Anyway. People want to believe the lies that the human is evolving. 
But without God, you're going to devolve. Without the Holy Spirit, you can't rise up in the system. You must be born again. You must be born again. It's plain and simple.